You know, it was a couple months ago that we opened up this protected bike lane on King Street, the first in the history of the state of Hawaii, definitely the first one in the city and county of Honolulu. We're going to try all different ways to bring about true multimodal transportation and biking safely in the urban core is part of that. It's a pilot and when we opened it up, we said because the lights are only facing as you go Diamond Head, that we wanted everyone to ride one way. Now some folks didn't, they went both ways and you know, in, one, in some ways it was nice to see it being used by folks that way. But we had committed at some point to install lights so as you head EVA, you could see when it says stop and you stop so you don't ride into cars that are turning left. The good news is the lights have arrived on island and we're gonna be installing them today. So this pilot continues to leave and breathe and evolve and we believe, I believe anyway, that it's gonna be better. So we're gonna be putting up these lights on 30, 13 intersections between Alapai and Eisenberg. We're gonna see how it works. We're gonna get feedback from the riding community that's behind me to see what they think. And we're gonna do more tweaks as we go forward. It's a two year pilot. We're into less the first year. We'll see like how the whole thing works. But for me, I'm committed to really try to improve bike riding in the urban core and make it safe. And if it works here, we want to take it to other parts of our city. We want to make it safe for our bike riders. We want to make it safe for those who drive cars. We want to make it easy for people to take our bus. We want to make sure that people can walk on our sidewalks and cross in our crosswalks and be safe there. And yes, someday for people to ride rail too. It's an integrated system that we're working towards. And yes, it's different, and yes, it means change. But we think over the long run, people are getting more and more comfortable to this, including this protected lane. Fewer and fewer complaints as people get used to it. Just like when we made King Street all one way, when it was two ways at one point, tons of complaints. And today, people love it. If we change it the other way, there'd be complaints there too. So it's how we bring about the change that's important in this pilot project is a large part of that by weighing in and seeing what the public thinks. Uh, Hawaii Bicycling League is extremely excited to see this uh, get converted to two ways. Um, you know, I, I think this has really been a great experiment and I think a positive thing for this city. Uh, we've gotten so much positive feedback from cyclists and more hearteningly uh, from people that have decided that it is in fact safe enough for them to cycle now. These stories were someone, uh, you know, before they didn't feel comfortable, they didn't feel safe on our roads. But this protected bike lane uh, is what's going to get them out there. And we think by converting it to two ways, um, it's just going to increase the utility and use of it. A uh, hundred years ago when we built the first road, not too many cars. You had to have a grid of roads in order to invite more cars. What we want to do is have a grid of protected bike lanes to invite more bike riders than just the folks behind us. And maybe new riders who would use a car to go to work will now say, well, ride a bike, um, enjoy the great outdoors of today, be healthy, not pollute the environment, not contribute to global warming. And, and do it safely. And I believe that if we have this grid, we'll see people riding like we see in Asia and Europe and other great cities around this country.